here, I'm here with Walter Holt, the creator of this amazing tree illumination. Walter, could you tell us a wee bit about your inspiration? I uh, like to try to find some woodland with a trail, ideally a bit of water, and plenty of car parking, and turn the place on for anyone to come and see it at night in a different light. But it's a, it's a very essential experience, isn't it, Delia? There's a, there's a lady, lady had a, a child who had autism, and she couldn't get, her, get the wee girl out of the, out of the orchard. She was so en enamoured by the Brilliant. lights and the music, and it was just... Excellent, that's excellent. Yeah, no, no that doesn't actually surprise me. I, I hate to leave it myself. The most, the most difficult part of it always is taking it down afterwards. And the music, who, who, who composed the music? And the music's performed? by a, a dairy musician and composer, a pianist called Sharon Graham. Um, she's been writing music for years. We met about two years ago. I've been looking for some time for someone to write music for my shows. And uh, we've been nurturing a few songs into existence. This piece here, formerly called Entrande, is just an invitation into the woods. This, uh, it's a ma magical piece, isn't it? It's, it's a lovely piece. There, there, there's, there's a lot of story behind it, which, which you'd be better getting from Sharon. They're, they're very sensuous pieces of music, dangerously so sometimes. And perfect for Valentine's. Yeah. What well, a fantas tonight. fantastic turnout, Walter. Tonight. I think tonight was the. the Tonight's the best night so far, yeah. yes. Yes. Uh, the last night. Perhaps that's word that spread. Um, and I think, I think it'll, be, it'll be an annual event. If not here and other places. Oh, look, I look out for my shows every equinox. I'm going to do one every March and every every uh, October. Somewhere in Ireland initially and, and somewhere around the world. So the, the next scheduled one is uh, at uh, Bushville's in October. We haven't yet found our forest for March, so anyone watching this who has a forest for us to turn on, for the spring equinox, we're ready Perfect. and willing. Perfect location. This yeah. one, we're going to keep this. If, if, if this proves to be a success, and I think it has, uh, but if it proves to have brought enough people in, we'll make this an annual event. I think I think it will be. We'll be seeing you again here next year. <laughs> well, I hope so. Definitely. So. We've just we just started. We've, we've just taken on one small patch of that orchard. There's a whole lot yeah. left over. Yeah. Perfect. How's that? That's brilliant.